Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, good morning to you in uh, Italia, but a, a good afternoon uh, from here in New Delhi. Yes. Welcome, welcome to the Yarn and Art Virtual Bedex series. This is the 134th uh, conversation uh, today, and I'm in conversation with uh, uh, with Maestro um, Claudio Brizzi. Um, it, it's really a pleasure. Uh, I have been, um, of course, grateful to our common friend, uh, Maestro Roberto Proceda, uh, for this uh, fantastic introduction, um, remembering him as we uh, are in conversation today. Um, this is the, as I mentioned, this is the 134th uh, conversation. Uh, of the ongoing Yardna Virtual Bedek series, which is dedicated to the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev. And I started this when I was in lockdown in Roma. Uh, for 72 days, I was in, um, in Rome at the Institute of South Asian Studies, uh, hosted by um, Dr. Tiziana Lorenzetti and Dr. Valerio Del Monte, and of course, uh, supported uh, uh, by uh, uh, you know, so many other dear friends. Um, it was, I think, uh, April 19th when we began this conversation series with uh, Maestro Luigi Polsini. And today it's been uh, a, quite an endeavor. We are uh, into the 133rd, uh, 134th uh, uh, Betak uh, or conversation. Uh, Claudio Brizzi is an Italian um, uh, exponent of the organ and harpsichord. He graduated under Veginan van de Paul at the Morlacchi Conservat Conservatory of Music and then further specialized in organ, early music and harpsichord. He performs in concerts as a harp harpsichordist, organist and conductor. He is also active as a musicologist and organologist committed to research performance involving hybrid key instruments, which is, I think, a key um, area of our conversation today. Uh, it's quite an exciting appeal to me. <laughs> Oops, my computer wanted to have a walk. Um, as a composer, he takes notes, uh, he takes note of contemporary music, collaborating with both Italian and foreign composers. His extensive discography uh, ranges from the late Renaissance to the present day. Another area where I'm uh, really interested in, um, in, in looking at uh, the music that has been written for the keyboard uh, music and a lot of misconceptions about some of the most important composers and contributors. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, shedding, uh, to uh, Professor Brizzi shedding some light on that. Um, Brizzi is a professor at the Conser Conser Conservatorio di Musica Francesco Morlacchi in Perugia and Kusatsu Summer Music Academy. Um, he has performed with many distinguished instrumentalists and singers like Edith Mathis and Hiromi Okada and has played in over 2,000 concerts for musical institutions around the world like Gewandhaus in Leipzig, Space Arts Center in Tokyo and Ishihira Halls in uh, Osaka in Japan. He performs regularly throughout Europe uh, USA, Japan, and Mexico. Um, so my um, heartfelt um, welcome to uh, uh, Professor Brizi, uh, and I'll just give a brief introduction in Punjabi, in my mother tongue. Um, uh, otherwise, my own uh, uh, Punjabi compats would uh, fight with me. They would say, oh, you did not tell us, you did not introduce the professor in Punjabi. So, dosto aaj to ana to anu mai ji aaya aakda aaj di 134vi baithak hai yaar naal virtual baithak series di jo ke 550 saal la jo hai sahib sri guru nanak dev da ohna di ohna di shaan vich ohna di yaad karde ha eh ohna de charna ch arpit hai um meri aaj jehdi mulakat hai oh professor claudio brizzi de naal hai jo ke Italy, the world will be more important in the world. The organ saws and harpsi chord are often used to be 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 
ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਰਗਨ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਪਿਆਨੋ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਜ਼ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਜ਼ਾਂ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਹੈਰਾਨ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਔਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਬੜੀ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਚੱਲ ਕੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੀ ਧਰਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਰਚੁਅਲੀ ਆਏ ਹਨਗੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗ੍ਰੈਜੂਏਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਵੈਜਿਨਨ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਪੋਲ ਦੇ ਅੰਡਰ ਮੋਰਲਾਕੀ ਕੰਜ਼ਰਵੇਟਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸੰਗੀਤ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੱਡਾ ਵੱਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਹੈ ਆ ਉਥੇ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਬਿਧੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਫੋਲੋ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਔਰ ਫਿਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲਾਈਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਆਰਗਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਜ਼ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਿਸਮ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਰਲੀ 뮤직 ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਰੈਨੇਸਾਂ ਪੀਰੀਅਡ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਬਰੋਕ ਇਰਾ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਰਾਜ਼ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਉਸ ਕਾਲ ਦੇ ਸੰਗੀਤ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉੱਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੌਰ ਫਰਮਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਹਾਪਸੀ ਕੋਰਡ ਆਪਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹ ਵਜਾਉਣ ਚ ਨਾਮ ਨਾ ਖਟਿਆ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਹਾਪਸੀ ਕੋਰਡਿਸਟ ਵਜੋਂ ਆਰਗਨਿਸਟ ਵਜੋਂ ਤੇ ਕੰਡਕਟਰ ਵਜੋਂ ਪੂਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਾਈਬ੍ਰਿਡ ਕੀ ਇੰਸਟਰੂਮੈਂਟ ਕੀਬੋਰਡ ਇੰਸਟਰੂਮੈਂਟਸ ਨੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਹੁਣੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਹਾਪਸੀ ਕੋਰਡ ਦੂਜੇ ਬੰਨੇ ਫਰਾਂਸ ਦਾ ਬਣਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਵਾਜਾ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਜਪਾਨ ਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਬਣਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਹਾਰਮੋਨੀਅਮ ਹਲਕਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਵਜਾਇਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਚਰਚਾ ਵੀ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਔਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਟਾਲੀਅਨ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਾਹਰਲੇ ਇਟਲੀ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰਲੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੰਪੋਜ਼ਰਸ ਦੇ ਫੋਰਨ ਕੰਪੋਜ਼ਰਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਡਿਸਕੋਗ੍ਰਾਫੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਯਾਨੀ ਕਿ ਛਾਪੀ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੀਰੀ ਛਾਪੇ ਨੇ 2000 ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਕਨਸਰਟ ਇਹ ਪੂਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ 'ਚ ਕਰ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਇੰਸਟੀਟਿਊਸ਼ਨਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਹਾਊਸ ਵਰਗੇ ਲਿਪਜ਼ਿਕ ਵਿਚ ਸਪੇਸ ਆਰਟ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਟੋਕਿਓ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਇਸ਼ੀਹਿਰਾ ਹਾਲਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਓਸਾਕਾ ਜਪਾਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਯੂਰਪ ਜਪਾਨ ਤੇ ਮੈਕਸੀਕੋ ਆਦ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਵਜਾਉਂਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਹਨਗੇ ਕੰਜ਼ਰਵੇਟੋਰੀਓ ਦੀ ਮੂਸੀਕਾ ਫ੍ਰਾਂਸਿਸਕੋ ਮੋਰਲਾਕੀ ਜੋ ਪੈਰੂਜਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੋਂ ਆ ਜੁੜੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਕੁਸਾਤਸੂ ਸਮਰ 뮤직 ਅਕੈਡਮੀ ਜੋ ਜਪਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਉਥੋਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਹੇਅਰ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਪ੍ਰੀਸੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਰੀਲੀ ਇਹ ਵਾਰਮ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਊਟ ਟੂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੁਡੇ yeah i'm glad to be here and even now uh, so shocked by the so musical language uh, so it's first time i i can listen to jai language <laughs> so directly and the singing language or oh, nothing to do with our interview but yes. uh, so beautiful thanks yeah. it's um, uh, you know punjabi and uh, you know italian punjabi sanskrit italian uh nap uh napolitan are very quite quite interestingly similar because they are like cousins like like twin sisters latin and sanskrit and for example when you say tu come stai or tu come va in punjabi is tu kime hai tu is tu kime hai come va kime 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 stai is stai how are you is sanskrit for stai to be where you are at the state so it's very uh, similar <laughs> like ki ki hal hai uh, you know ki is what you know how and what so very very similar so if i speak you will find many similarities <laughs> so i didn't understand and yeah any word but intonation was so familiar uh, yes so, <laughs> exactly <laughs> thanks exactly. okay it's wonderful wonderful to uh, to be with you today um it is uh, you know the organ i mean there are a lot of uh, myths about i mean when we hear uh, bach and mozart uh, usually they are associated with piano and and that too with modern piano um i think there is a lot of
sort of uh, the incarnation is more the 19th century one. Uh, the modern piano, the, the, the way the keyboards were, you know, added and added and added. Uh, the, I mean, the octaves, now it is what, seven, seven and a half acti octaves. Originally, it was different. So if you can kindly tell us uh, something about that would be great. Okay. Uh, how much time do, do we have? Oh, I've, I have Is 10 hours, 20 hours. We so, can, I can go non-stop. I'm a very good listener. <laughs> okay. Uh, for transit today, uh, I, I must leave. I know, I know that. I'm teasing uh, you. I'm just trying yeah. to tease you. <laughs> okay. I try to start from somewhere. Mm. Okay. First, uh, you did use a very, uh, maybe I, without this feedback is better, I try. Um, just a moment, I set it somewhere with less feedback. Maybe. Um, yeah, the point is, uh, when we think about the modern piano, uh, we think that this piano is the piano. Uh, no development, no changes through the time of the, 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 the centuries. We are now talking not uh, about years or months, but centuries. And if we think even about um, some early piano, we are going to use the word um, now. Uh, more perfect, this word perfect, so strongly bound to our time. Uh, the, the new car is more perfect than the old car. Yes. The new laptop, the new computer is, is just now perfect. Yes, but to, tomorrow will come out uh, even more perfect <laughs> computer, more, even more perfect. But perfect is perfect. I cannot use the word perfect more with perfect. Perfect is perfect, no yes. more with perfect, and so on. Then I start to take a look to our uh, idea of to be perfect, or to be developed, or to be in the future. The future is better than the past, and all that uh, is already giving some confused point of view. And now, to the modern piano. Modern piano is the instrument created by our time, uh, by uh, our contemporary uh, piano makers, uh, to satisfy the modern use of the piano. So big concert hall, 2,000 people, uh, without ampli amplifier, yes. uh, hopefully. OK, the rock music with amplifier, mm -hmm. but this is a, a different word. Now we are talking about our work. And then we say, ah, this piano is perfect. Uh, if Mozart uh, could play this piano, or if Mozart uh, tries this piano, uh, piano, Mozart will be so happy. Or, um, but unfortunately, the, these sentences, I simply repeating sentences I, I heard so many times before one master class, before uh, one interview. Um, uh, unfortunately, Bach didn't know our piano, but he, he would be so happy uh, about, it, uh, about it and so on. And, and now I try to clarify some points. First, the piano was invented as Bach uh, was only 40 years old. So nice. piano invention uh, dates back to 1699, Florence, but Christopher. Uh, of course, it was very different than the, 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 the nowadays piano, nowadays piano. But we say it, it was not so perfect because the, the, it was less sound. Ah, okay. Uh, where was played this instrument? Uh, at home. Uh, but at home, the modern, a modern Steinway, a modern Fazioli is uh, simply too loud. Uh, the, so uh, it's not perfect or not perfect. It's simply made according the needs of, of this time. Um, and then I can say even, but how 
possible was to play a really um, like, like the, the, the pianissimo, uh, quite a buzzing, or this instrument could play uh, incredible pianissimo, um, and could even play with a very quick repetition of like this is quite quick. Uh, I can do even quicker. It's okay. Uh, but in the Christopher's piano, uh, it was even possible to play double quick, quick repeated notes. Uh, so quick that a modern piano cannot do. Ah, but uh, it means it's not perfect. No, simply, if too quick, uh, it's impossible to appreciate it in a big concert hall. Uh, and then, uh, and not only, quick means the hammer. Uh, should be light, but if the hammer is light, cannot produce a big sound, and so on. So uh, there is not one a perfect instrument, and there is not a early, poor, not well developed, uh, not well done instrument. Not is that, please, we should forget it. Uh, we we must only think that a musical instrument is something born and created, created, I like, better than made. Made is something factory. But the one is making what instrument is creating, is giving uh, his soul, why not? His wish, his brain to, to one piece of wood or a piece of metal, string, that became his voice. And then it's a gift to the people, and I get something created. To, uh, this is created by Mr. Claudio Pinky, for example. Uh, Claudio Pinky's wish and Claudio Pinky's uh, idea of sound was given to me, and I can use it as my voice. This is uh, now one introduction to instruments in in some human way the instrument is my voice i cannot sing unfortunately i would like to sing but i'm i'm not able to sing but i can sing with my instrument or i can uh, express something through my fingers in touch with my instrument and now uh, uh, back to your question but Bach, mozart uh, okay, uh, anyway, Mozart or Bach, even both did play piano, uh, did play a piano strongly different than our piano. And uh, it's too long now. Uh, maybe next time I will put here one piano of the. the, the yeah, there, there's here many instruments that maybe we'll yeah, take a look at. Quite maybe a collection. Yes. How, uh, how, no, no, it's still not Francesco. Uh, how to do now, how we'll go on. But anyway, uh, maybe I will prepare a piano of the Mozart time, so to, to, that to would show be fantastic. which yes. kind of piano at Mozart the time. Um, but the Mozart piano uh, was done with a different purposes. Even maybe I must go back to the general meaning of keyboard instruments. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know if for you it's interesting. Yes, it, absolutely. No, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because I think there is one point about keyboard instruments in gen uh, took in general as a third <clears throat> and they meaning and they develop and they function. First, maybe I, 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 I go down from this place and I move. Ah, in before we, in, in fact, before we, before we go there, Francesca, uh, uh, Claudio, yeah. before we go, uh, yes. why don't you first tell us about the instrument that you play? This one? Yes, this one, because oh. I see you have got, uh, you, you've got uh, uh, keys under your feet. Uh, that's uh, just fascinating. Yes. yes. 
and uh, 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 can you just play something only with the feet? Is it the chords or what are you playing with the feet? Okay, with the feet we, I can play anything. Uh, I try, I can start with this. It means I, 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 I must show my hands, right? So <laughs> okay. No tricks, and then, but I will... Okay, please one piano now, okay? Yes, I, I, I'm talking with my feet. Yes. The, the, the. <laughs> something different I can even with my feet play organ wow from above as well, yes. And I'm playing cembalo. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you, you told me, you, you yeah, no, no hands, right? Okay, no hands, no hands. Sorry, <laughs> I, I did and how to move the feet. Uh, anyway, um, I, again back to the idea that we develop uh, a little bit more of right. keyboard instrument. Uh -huh. Keyboard instrument is one way to collect many possible sounds, many possible colors, many possible pipes, many possible strings, many possible hammers, plucking, uh, blowing, and so, and so on. All those together under one wish. This is the... That's amazing. In the yeah. center, the keyboard yeah. is all that under one, one wish by accepting that no one sound will be so, so close to the lips, so close to the nail, so close to the bowing, than in one violin, one flute, 
but no one through this can manage yeah so many I'm, I'm feeling jealous <laughs> i'm feeling jealous actually that you can <laughs> use your feet <laughs> and your 10 fingers and you got so many keyboards if i play the taus or the uh, rabab or the violin or uh, cello or uh, viola da gamba or i mean it's just uh, uh, one 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 fretboard and you've got so many you've got under your feet you've got three on the top then you've got a harmonica on the right my goodness i am a very jealous man yes, no one no one of my sound uh, can even try to be bound to the instrument like in your instruments mm -hmm. and all this that should should be the, the very clear in our keyboard player mind mm -hmm. so we we should search in our direction so all in the music instruments and music playing is a compromise something more has a cost as yes. a fee something less very well said uh, but never never tell to anyone what they lose <laughs> uh, so it's like a, I, I will give my best and no one will be so good like me this is the the show position but since we are now in a private conversation i very private. I can say that something i lose it's not private oh sorry <laughs> it's very private it's only me and you <laughs> ah perfect no one is, is joining nobody's <laughs> joining us <laughs> okay now uh, about this instrument maybe i tell you something more yes about uh, the keys as Yes. Uh, yes, as um, more or less uh, guess, this is one instrument. But uh, before we go to the keyboards, uh, uh, Claudio, you mentioned that yes. uh, you played the organ uh, 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 from below, and that has got air, no? That is the pipe or that it uses air? Yes. How does the yes. air come? How do you pump the air? <laughs> Yes, how, how and, and where is not very, very important. It's important, of course, but uh, it's not so important. I mean, uh, Francesca, can you give me no, no, one pipe, the, the big one, or, uh, yeah, or this one? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, my son is helping me. Yes, I know. Okay, <laughs> this is one pipe. Right. One organ pipe. Uh -huh. And now I will blow it. Yes. It's like a whistle. It's like a whistle, yeah. Yes, uh, I can even change harmonics. I see. And, but this small example with no octave. See. Wow. Is very important as information about what the organ cannot do, and what that what does it mean to blow into? Oh, um, the organ, very, very, very old, very, very old, was invented three centuries before Christ, so two thousand three hundred wow. plus years. Life. And, uh, but uh, as we know, flutes were already in use. It means the invention was not the flute, nor to blow in. Yes. But, but uh, the, the, the big invention was how to keep the wind pressure yeah. stable. Stable, yes. Because if the wind pressure is not stable, the pipe changes intonation. Look. Yes. yes. So it dep intonation depends from so the intonation rises up according to the wind pressure I'm blowing in. Until one note can cannot be kept, 
Okay. And I, I jump to the next uh, harmony. So in the organ, there is one part, uh, mantice in Itali Italian language, uh, Edo, Edo English. Mm -hmm. This uh, device provides, oh, uh, it's okay. Connect. Provides, yes, provides. Uh, uh, yeah, this, this device uh, provides air, uh, a stable pressure, uh, even there is more or less pipes together sounding because the, the big problem in one organ is I can play only one finger and only one pipe but I can even decide to play uh, 200 pipes with, uh, or 2000 pipes at the same time it means the system provided the wind should keep the same pressure uh, whatever it happened constant outside. yeah it should be constant it, yeah uh, the, the wind uh, in origin can be provided by human people pumping uh, uh, air wind supply system right. uh, engine electric blower like air cone, so. something different but like air cone blowers mm -hmm. uh, animals walking and moving systems waterfall uh, uh, and whirlpool or turning turbine. So the, what happened before the bellows is completely un, unimportant. Not not completely, but it is a little bit deeper, too too deep for our speech. Uh, the organ uh, point uh, or the organ uh, origin comes from the moment in which Thesibius, uh, an engineer. Uh, in the, in the Greek time, uh, from Alessandria de Gitto in Egypt, um, Magna Grecia, we say, I don't know English. Mm -hmm. um, in that time, he invented one system to keep constant, constant the, key, uh, the wind pressure. From that moment, we can talk about organ. Organ means, no, no forget, the organ means machine. Yes. This, uh, make, in our speeches, we'll go often into the meaning of the words. What that, where are from the word key for keyboard? Where are from the, the word organ? Where, and so on. Uh, organ is machine in Greek. Yes. And, it, uh, and we as organists, we must never forget that we are driving one machine yes, yeah. and the machine can become human if we discover its tricks uh, yeah. because if not your instruments mm -hmm. are instruments this is not one instrument this is a machine yeah. and sometimes very boring to listen because use a typewriter and not anymore even for piano sometimes not as machine, which can even so the machine has a lot of possibilities, but overcoming its limits and uh, never forgetting that at the beginning it's a machine. Anna, uh, okay. So yeah, the other is that uh, the, the it's uh, for me it's very interesting because if I were to take uh, what is a uh, you know the flute for example in your hands or the pipe, uh, it's imitating it's in the it's in the image of man uh, one lung, one blower, one one vocal cord, and if I were to take um, uh, for example. Um, uh, you know, to I'm not in a uh, state, but just to so about fifteen, fourteen seconds 
one without i'm not an image otherwise i can go of course much longer it's just one example so then i had to break because i have to inhale so the idea that the pipe is in the image of man yes but then uh, like man has tried so much to make the elixir you know the nectar uh, to to become immortal so the idea that uh, the the how do you transcend how do you overcome the limit of one lungs one pair of lungs and then the organ of course once it's detached from the human body idea is to blow and uh, uh, to make the sound akhand or uh, without a break how do you sustain that and uh, and then to uh, divert or to um, modulate one which you showed very beautifully very subtle and then the dirgha what we call in our in the indic pedagogy we call it rasva dirgha pulita three prime prime uh, elements or ornaments of music one is rasva it has to be musical it has to be pleasing as you you know very importantly said it can be boring but music it's music so it has to be rasva the very first condition is it should be pleasing uh, it should not be unpleasant to my ear Uh, and then it's dirgha dirgha is profound deep and loud uh, and then pulita is subtle and soft and then multiple grades within that so i see the organ uh, the human connection but then the idea of providing it with a uh, with a lot of wind but then you importantly added the idea that it should be constant flow it should be a controlled flow inflow and uh, outflow of wind that's quite uh, quite interesting uh, that the solution was attempted nearly 2000 plus years ago quite uh, quite yeah, so now you you gave me one idea to to i think this is a, a free speech yes. and uh, i try to hang up to one phrase mm -hmm. uh, you just uh, say you say that at this point after 40 seconds you must breathe because you are when human your lungs cannot stay with a breath to breathe and um, now i take a look to the organ uh used in the roman time uh it was the instrument used when the emperor made his entrance in the circus emperor is very close to god mm. then when in constantinople uh, in the in the later late mm, main town of the roman roman empire the basileus the emperor basileus from three the basileus uh, entrance was not anymore only accompanied by the organ sound but was uh, associated to the organ sound and again why okay basileus and organ are very close but in the in this late roman empire the basileus were really very close to a, to be a god in the heart mm. earth uh, and later 800 uh, AD uh, 800 AD Carlomagno Charlemagne yes. I don't know in uh, AD English Anno Domini yeah Yes uh, Anno Domini AD but Carlomagno emperor Ah okay uh, Char Charlemagne uh, was elected emperor or of, of Roman Empire, new Roman Empire, Sacro Roman Impero. Uh, unfortunately, all those story I know only the in Italian. I never no, that's okay. spoken in English about that. <laughs> so, but uh, he was created emperor by the Pope, and he got many presents from the the the, the kings around the world. And the Basileus, the, the the emperor of Constantinople, sent to him as a gift one organ, 
I this see. bargain after the the, the the Roman Empire based in Rome finished, mm -hmm. uh, Oregon was even forgotten I uh, see. in this part of Italy and Europe. So Oregon followed to to his functions, its functions in Constantinople. I see. And the Basileus sent to Carlo Magno this present like a message. Uh, okay. You are powerful. You are politically very, very good. But we are over, strongly over. Our technology is so advanced, you can even not imagine. That's like a signal. I That's see. a gift, but a political statement. A political signal. statement. And, yeah. But, but the, the, the new emperor was very intelligent, I, as we know. Uh, and from that moment, he, he did keep the organ, and organ uh, reborn in the uh, West Europe, mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in our side of Europe, and very soon became associated to the church. It was used as voice of God, and now we are back. Because the organ is more than human. Yes. Organ does indeed to breathe. Mm. So no one man can sing one eternal note like the organ. And now I'm doing that simply to demonstrate that during my speech, I must sometimes breathe because I'm human. But the organ can represent the voice of God. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I was a little no, bit no. outside, of, uh, but you said No, no, it's very important. I... This is very important. So it's it's not. Uh, it was not just an idea. There is a there is a whole relationship no. uh, to that. That it is transcending the finiteness uh, of of man, one man. Uh, at best, you know, when I'm in a, a good flow, I can go 30 seconds, 50 seconds, uh, 52 seconds. Uh, uh, you know, when one is practicing and in a mood, but still you need to still stop and inhale. <laughs> but this is a one way flow and it has to do with the idea of being God, uh, who doesn't need to breathe, who can, uh, who has an endless source of uh, the wind and uh, the breath. That's, that's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. And then uh, the idea of uh, uh, talking of hybrid keyboard instruments or the hybrid organs, uh, you al already mentioned you've demonstrated yeah. from a clavichord uh, to to the uh, to the organ yeah. uh, and the pipe and the keys, uh, the, the feet, uh, the pedals you've shared, you've already shown. Uh, can you now uh, come to the keyboard, uh, the keys that are there in front of you? You were about to mention. Yeah, this, this is uh, this is a harpsichord. Uh, harpsichord is simply a plucked string instrument. Uh, can you give me the violin, please? Violin. And uh, be ready to give me this small model of harpsichord. Okay, after that, I need it. This is a violin. Violin can be played, of course, uh, by bowing, but now I did plug the string. Uh, of course, I must remind, should remind you that my plucking can be very soft, gentle, or hard, or even very close to the bridge, different. Yeah. Or even in the center, sound sound is changing. But after four strings, if the breath no is again, it's the bow has movement. been brought. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the okay, of, of course I can also move my my right uh, left hand. But anyway, more than four sounds, uh, I cannot create. 
this is not one harpsichord, but it's how one harpsichord works is a model. And by the way, this is a key. When I push this key, this piece of wood rises, goes up, and I try to, to go closer. Yes. Yeah. And there is here one plectrum, like one, one guitar plectrum. Right. And here, one string. I hope it's possible to see yes, yes, the yes. string. It is possible. I hope. Yeah, yeah. And when the key is pressed down, this is called it salterello, springer, springs up and the string is plugged Plucked. by this plectrum. Mm -hmm. After my finger lifts the key, the springer goes back, back down mm -hmm. and this felt stops the vibration. Right, right, right. Uh, repeat it for an uh, old keyboard and this is one harpsichord. So again, a little bit history. Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, ah, why not? Maybe my son can show the harpsichord inside. Yes. This is the harpsichord and maybe now you will see what uh, the be lontano. Okay, you can see. Now I cannot play for real because I'm showing the mechanism. Yes. I push one key, one spring, springer, three springers because it's a big arc it goes up, and this is the sound. This bar has a function. The springers shouldn't jump onto the ceiling. And so right. <laughs> right, right. because I, I need the springers there to not stop yes the, the, the second floor. Right, right. <laughs> uh, and this is one harpsichord. Now uh, harpsichord was the typical uh, keyboard instrument used at home by Mozart, for example, uh, by Bach. Uh, Francesco, can you give me the telephone? Uh, because I need my iPad there. I, I would like to show one Mozart uh, manuscript. Right. Um, yes, hold it. Yes. Maybe I, I can find easily because just right yesterday I was practicing one more so I see yes for example uh, you mean Mozart was playing through you yes of course <laughs> uh, he uh, during the last night he also went to me and he suggested to get yeah, to change my job he says mm, no 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 <laughs> <laughs> Be better not anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> anyway, I show you now one Mozart handwriting. Maybe you can see. Yes. Maybe. And I go close to this part in which Mozart wrote Cembalo. Maybe you I see. Maybe. Yes, 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 I, I can see. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, now, on the okay. left. Yeah. So, this is one. Okay. Uh, only, uh, only to remind that something is very often misunderstood. Mm -hmm. But now there is one chamber, usually home used instrument, and one organ. Church instrument. Mm, I, I use this usually because our time categorizes. This is church instrument. This is uh, the, the this is for to go out. Uh, no, with with this uh, cloth you cannot go out for this. 
And all is categorized. And in the most of time, it was strongly mixed. Uh, keyboard instrument was in general keyboard instrument. And even Mozart brought many letters to the father talking about organ, about uh, piano, about harpsichord. All is strongly mixed. And even Mozart, during uh, it charnis, it's charnis uh, around the world, uh, in every village uh, which Mozart arrived, uh, the first thing he uh, he asked to do, yeah, please, I would like to play one organ, nice. and then the the, 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 the people there that accompanied Mozart, the young Mozart, the the, 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 the uh, such uh, as I, uh, he was ch a child, or um, to the church or to the castle where, when uh, a chamber organ uh, was present. And he did play organ, or sometimes cembo, or sometimes a clavichord, or sometimes different instruments. Uh, cembo is harpsichord, uh, sorry, sometimes I use the, the, the Italian word. And um, by changing the pieces, no, the same piece is playable on, uh, and what is, what is ch to change? To change is how to play the piece. Uh, one score is one idea. The score cannot has, has, has not a personal life without one human recreating uh, and filtering through his brain, his fingers, his age. I'm playing it in a different way than I was 20 years old. And yeah. uh, I play now better? No. I'm simply a 60 year old person with one life behind, mm. uh, and my play is simply yeah, coming from a, from one life, but it's not better, not worse. And now I can uh, see, but if I play one Mozart in the in the piano. Yeah. Ah, this is incredible. Sorry, the delay. <laughs> piano cembalo and if I play the same in the organ already something is different I'm trying now to to, to make some articulation mm -hmm. and here I'm trying to to, to, to feel to hold the keys to create some sound. And then it's very clear that uh, cembalo is more crisp and more rhythmic. Organ is more round and less rhythmic. And so, uh, again, which is better? <laughs> one is more, one is less. Uh, up to me to use it. And um, those two different elements, yeah. the long sound and the plugged string, the long, long pipes uh, sound and uh, plugged strings are the two common words in the Mozart time or in the Bach time. But you asked me about combined instrument, hybrid instrument. Uh, yes, because after a while, by playing organ, even fully satisfied, I can desire one sound that disappears after I push the keys. It's like, okay, this uh, over human, I like, but sometimes even human can be interesting. And Yes, but I need something over human. But uh, to combine uh, those two words means that the pattern pattern is full. Yes. And uh, combined instruments uh, very early as uh, using is already a clavier organ 
is already reported in the uh, 15th century. I see. Uh, a super technological instrument at that time. Super expensive, allowed only by extremely rich people. Uh, ah, okay, in the, but Medici, this is a little bit later. Medici, why not, had the chance to, to buy. And Medici had a family, had eight clavicordians, not one, wow. like me, only one, I'm very good. Uh, but uh, Medici's family, or Gonzaga family, or uh, Tudor family, even eight clavicordians in the legacy uh, papers by every eight. Mm. And how to use it? Ah, oh, okay. Maybe internet helps, maybe not, because all of that should be listen, listen from here. Uh, no, it's and maybe it's good, yeah. can even go there, because until now we didn't see the clavier organ from distance. Yes. And then uh, you can even show the old instrument. Yeah. Uh, and now maybe you are to use something from Adobe, something from the OK. And one organ, we say it with many possible colors, but now I'm using only one color. Yeah. Organ is this one. Oh, sorry. Harpsichord is this one. Oh, beautiful. But something is the first new thing. And if organ is something or you and the harpsichord is the normal chamber instrument. Now, uh, sky and earth are combined. We can create a mix, mixed sound. Why not to do and so on? Why not? But even why not to think that this uh, this can seem. change colors but stay stable. Harpsichord is very stable. We know that voice is modulating, dynamic, exactly like something here. This is one harmonino made by François de Bain, the French uh, harmonium maker that patented harmonium in 1842. And harmonium can breathe with my foot. Only I one see. foot in this. I see. something that no organ nor harpsichord can do, uh, harpsichord and the note goes to became nothing. Organ stays, but here I can then maybe back, but keeping. But then why not a crescendo like a bolt? So, oh, wow. so this 
was just like one introduction to this. And all together, this has a name, but the name is not my invention. Unfortunately, I didn't <laughs> invent anything. I all only study something of the past, and I tried to combine something, but I didn't invent because the name Galleria Harmonica, Harmonic Gallery, right. uh, where, where harmonic means to, 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 to sound together, mm. uh, again, um, this uh, Galleria Harmonica is the name given in the middle of 17th century to one wonder, wonders machine uh, a mix between harpsichord, organ, uh, bowed strings, uh, controlled by keyboards, the, the, uh, percussions. Uh, yes, the, this instrument was in uh, in Roma. Allacco della Ciambella was the the, the place, uh, and was done by Mr. Tadini, one inventor from North Italy. From he was born. In Cuneo, uh, near Turin, and uh, he created this incredible machine, uh, giving to the performer so many possibilities uh, to, to play something, and by inventing, by creating sounds at his uh, his wish. Um, maybe I uh, I cut down from here because now. Right. I don't know if you you was trying to to to, to no, tell me is, something because no no it is my, yeah I, ex yes. I cannot right so uh, I uh, Francesco you can now keep the phone uh, to closer to him if you can if you hear me ah okay okay yes, but yeah yes that's uh, good yeah if you don't have uh, may I show you something then I come back yes please yes let's do that uh, because I see. This is fantastic. I mean, I was looking at the idea of uh, like the creator and the creation together. So the idea of the infinite yes. and the finite together. That's a fantastic, uh, uh, you know, solution to, to experience both. Uh, to, to be reminded of, uh, the, of one's finiteness uh, and to, it's like an ins aspiration and inspiration put together to, to to touch the infinite, to say the, uh, to say the unsayable, the ineffable. It's quite a yes. fantastic... Yes, uh, music uh, is uh, something, uh, is one idea. Uh, and nowadays they say this is wrong, this is right. But who says yes. to a painter this is wrong. Uh, at least you can say this. This picture, yeah, your picture, yeah, I don't like it. I will never buy, or I will never put hang up on my wall at home. This is okay, or but no, this this is wrong because this face uh, should be turned a little bit more left. This is, but in the music entourage uh, phrasing like yeah, this. Pianist is playing wrong because the tempo is too quick. There's some, something somewhere written. The the, the, the speedness, optim, optimal speedness, or this is like Formula One car driving yeah. or what? Uh, of course, historical researches are very important, mm. but at uh, or even exams are very important. I'm also a professor, so I should teach and. I teach and I say, Frescobaldi wrote this, uh, in the Couperin manuscript uh, says this, and, and so this is all those information or the meaning is given by uh, this, all of those information are very uh, in, in the center of our knowledge, but um, never forgot that after examinations, we are <laughs> performers, yes. musicians, men, uh, showmen, why not? Yeah. Uh, someone after a concert should be happy yeah. uh, or should be relieved or should be moved, mm. uh, not counting the wrong notes or the wrong ideas 
be according to him. This is uh, even uh, more. But uh, if you follow me here, this is one Dini's piano of Beethoven time. I see. So exactly like the piano uh, Beethoven had mm -hmm. at home. So let me play it the Mozart. Um, this is impossible, but I, I will, uh, I said before about Tadino, Tadini, the inventor of Galleria Armonica, even percussions after, and that's it, percussions in one keyboard instrument, yes. now this is impossible. Yeah. Okay, possible? You, you think impossible? Wow, amazing. But this is original, it's not my invention. Amazing. So this is the original piano. Wow. Uh, and many people doesn't know that one original piano is a machine in which uh, many devices are creating what orchestral sound or even strongly possible to change the color of the sound. Listen, uh, now, uh, for example, Sorry, my headset. This is normal sound. I, I'm playing short. Now I need. Okay, this is interesting. But in the orchestra of their time, something like that was given, was played by a bassoon. Oh, I need to, to get a bassoon sound. Amazing. This bar. Look, this is bassoon effect. On the, I see. The, the piano. Wow. Now it's bassoon. Now no bassoon anymore. For example. Yes. Yes. Now. Sam. Yes. Yes. Means. Muffled. Yeah. No fair. In that in that time, in which the color is in the center, I see uh, the amount, how many, how much, how much, why, 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 how much? The whole is one one room like this. Mm -hmm. uh, how um, elegant! This is a very important point. Or if I go here. Uh, I would like to play the same Mozart piece. Mm -hmm. Again, different work, uh, but I want to So the nowadays all is standardized. Piano mm -hmm. eight eight keys. Uh, okay, maybe Fazioli, maybe Bessendorf, maybe Kawai, maybe Yamaha, but anyway, 88 and so on. And the differences can be appreciated only by one expert. Yes. But for for the normal audience, this is a piano. Yeah. Uh, but if I push this, and then I push this, or this, also, or this, Fantastic. again, the same piece, but yes. a different word. Yes, and now maybe I move here. So, uh, and I finished with the yes. hybrid yes. Uh, <laughs> presentation. What does it mean, hybrid? We already saw that one very round instrument, like one harmonium, is associated to, the, to a very crisp metallic celesta. It means, it's like characters. Uh, 
multiple voices as if it's a multiplicity, yeah. it's a multiplicity uh, of voices, yeah. Colors, yeah. emotions. Two, two friends uh, are friends, but if we go, we take a look to this couple of friends, we discover that the characters are different. And they fit together exactly because uh, in the speech, they can go over. They doesn't stay in the same point. Just a moment, battery, but it's not, no problem. Uh, and now, uh, one more combination. Also original, uh, we see one upright piano. Mm -hmm. And okay, no doubts about this is a one upright piano. Oh, okay, maybe. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me think about. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe, <laughs> why not? Ah, wow. Oh, ah, I'm very happy. Oh. And so on. So, again, uh, one character combined with a different character. One character is the optimal accompaniment. But I would like to have some harmony together. Paddle, is it? You were using the. Uh, uh, you're pumping with the feet. Is that right? I, I, uh, pumping is here. Yeah, uh, little below Francesco, little below. Oh yes, that, ah. that small one. Yeah, yes, those ones. Okay, the ones in the green. So yes. uh, the uh, one. the center ones are the piano paddles for the dampener and others, but yeah. the green ones are the ones to pump air for the harmonium. Yes. Wow. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. What an invention. Uh, and, uh, of course, all those instruments are uh, very difficult to manage. Yes. yes. Uh, like sometimes what is usual to do with uh, left foot, you should do with right foot or uh, with... Both. You should be yeah. pumped <laughs> in that way, right. but pedal or piano pedal to be used mm. uh, with heels, mm -hmm. for example. That I see. is like to... To, to learn one the new kind of control and uh, this is also the reason for all those kind of combined instruments right. are not so popular or were not so popular yeah. were uh, used only in the super professional places in which super professional musicians mm -hmm. uh, could Manage. Yeah, like you have to be a virtuoso, no? You have to be virtuoso, not just a virtuoso, not just a maestro. Yes. But the organ was the the, the 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 how to say the the dream machine for Handel, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, piano harmonium, harmonium clavier of Deutsch in, uh, in German was the uh, more uh, beloved instrument by Franz Liszt. Mm -hmm. Or we, can you follow me, Francesco? Or uh, this is a pedal piano. Uh -huh. if, so you see one piano, but you see also one pedal board. And this so. instrument was yeah uh, was wow. so appreciated by, by by Schumann, for example, and Mendelssohn. By
music with organ, of course. Pedal piano is a very radio instrument, difficult to find. But uh, after I did play with pedal piano, for me it's very difficult to, to come back. Even I love the organ, like the, the organ is my, my dream is the organ. I'm an organist, and maybe once we meet in front of one organ, maybe if you would like to do, uh, yeah. and we, we can speak about it. That large scale yes, I was coming to that as well. Uh, this is uh, because I'll be uh, the, there's a video. You have a YouTube channel as well. I've been enjoying it, and I've also subscribed. And I'll invite everybody to subscribe to your uh, channel as well. Um, as I'll be showing, yes. After afterwards, after our conversation, I have uh, uh, you know the uh, some of the videos and. I'd like to tell all our friends who have joined today and will listen to the recording later. Um, Professor Claudio Brizzi has uh, kindly shared some of the, has suggested some of the, uh, you know, um, a, a, you know, a sequence of uh, videos that he has shared. And um, in that there is a, uh, I mean, it's a story that I would rather uh, have uh, Claudio mention to you about a manuscript that was found and there was one scholar uh, who's a uh, who's an Italian French, uh, uh, you know, he's a hybrid himself. <laughs> so he uh, worked on that manuscript and has uh, constructed, uh, you know, instruments. And uh, uh, tell us about that instrument. That's quite a story. And that recording I've heard of you playing that. Wow! It's 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 like a it's a music house. <laughs> it's a house of notes. I, I like to, to, to be to be here and I like to to, to, to say until not like late in the night to yeah to be moved by my instrument so it's like to give and to get or sometimes uh, yeah with audience to give and to get this is one one more important part of the decision to share uh, to share a part of, of the cell the soul the soul, the soul. I think we are lucky. Yes, yes. And about that, uh, I was telling everybody about the uh, that that manuscript that you mentioned and the organ that has been constructed. Uh, that ah, the yes. video also oh, that we will be showing. This is yes. not a manuscript. Okay, the Don Pedro de Sel. Uh, this is a um, a B treatise. Uh, 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 hold on a second, uh, Francesco. Can you maybe place the camera somewhere on a stand? You have a stand. Can you place or, the uh, camera? We can move somewhere. Yes. Now we are in a very narrow place. Maybe here. And then I stand. I yes. Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. He can then keep the camera on a place. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yes. It's okay. I turn a little bit because I see me. Okay. Yeah, a little bit that way, but no, uh, you can turn it yes. back because I see too much light. You can turn it a little bit uh, the ah, angle, ah, angle. Okay. Uh, to the to the other side. No, to the other side. The other side. The books at the back. Oh, this is okay. This is fine. This is fine. Ah, this is okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. About uh, this book. Uh, yeah. One Benedictine. Uh, Don Pedro de Sel uh, was uh, the name, organ builder. In the time in which uh, France was going to the encyclopedic uh, sharing of knowledge, uh, this organ builder wrote a big uh, book with instructions very modern as idea, uh, how to to build one organ. Uh, but the book, uh, uh, possible to find even in internet now, the Don Bedo de Sel, La Bufacter Dog, the organ leader uh, art. In this book, is explained um, in a very deep, deep detail, uh, how to how one organ works, of course, organ sections like blowers, like chest winches, 
pipes, and then tools for organ building tools. Awesome. Every point, every everything thing explained in the, in the in the big big tome, and uh, then organ projects. Even from the detail details with uh, how many centimeters and no centimeters, of course, uh, with different unit, but how to how to do. And what one organ builder, uh, Bartolomeo Formentelli, uh, French uh, with Italian name, name and living in Verona, um, organ builder, this study uh, very deep uh, this treatise by Don Bedo, and he uh, made, he built two one in France and one very close to here, 20, 30 kilometers from here, uh, he made a big instrument, maybe uh, there is, uh, a couple of links I uh, I gave you yes. uh, related yeah. to yeah, this, uh, this organ. And um, yeah, he made this big organ 40 meters tall. Wow. Uh, according and following line by line uh, the instructions given in 1768. <laughs> uh, what a, maybe on this, what a story. this organ can be interesting, even inside, because one organ is like one house, one, yeah. one, or even like a skyscraper. Uh, and with rooms, every room with one function. Mm -hmm. So the inspection of one piano is to do from outside. Nobody can go into one. Yeah. Maybe sometimes under net, yeah. under net, maybe above, but anyway, never inside. But in the organ, all is inside. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can, in the small, go move here, look. So now we can go, for example, inside my organ. Now we are inside my organ, even wow. inside. Uh, so it means organ. Yeah, organ is my word, anyway. <laughs> Hybrids are, yes, a discover. A, a, Relatively recent discover. I started I 20 years ago, thanks to the cooperation with Mr. Baruchieri and Mr. Claudio B. Pinky, both uh, two, two genius. Uh, I, uh, I'm lucky to know those uh, those friends. And this club organ was created thanks to our cooperation, to the cooperation with, with Mr. Franco Baruchieri and Claudio Pinky. Um, and I began this double life. One life is hybrid research and play, but organ lab didn't ever stop. <laughs> That's amazing. And it is near your place, actually, that uh, it is in Perugia only, that organ which has been built? No, the, the, this organ is in Rieti. Rieti is one, one town uh, more or less 80 kilometers from ah, Roma. Okay. Ah, from Roma. So, and uh, is it in and a is it in a church? In is it in a church or uh, just in a hall? Yes, yeah. it's, it's in one church. I see. In one church. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and what is? Perugia, why not? And what was the what was the experience? How did you feel when you first played? What was the experience? Yeah, I like it. Uh, I like it. Uh, every organ is one word. Uh, maybe even this point uh, can be a good team. Piano is piano, as we say, but organ is made one by one mm. after one project and after to know the kind of room. Maybe we can even compare my organ in my class in Perugia, uh, even very big organ. I see. Uh, again, from 
PK family. Uh, both are four main nodes, uh, five main nodes, uh, four keyboards, and five keyboards. So it seems to be the same, like, same to the, even the architecture is different, but then the sound is strongly different. And it means if you get one score to play, the score is not enough. You must make the orchestration. Is uh, once I was playing with clavier organ with uh, Laura Ontecorvo. She's a beautiful flutist, uh, specialist for tablets of flute, early flute, flute and for ancient music. And uh, we start to play with clavier organ one sonata by Bach. Usually play with uh, harpsichord and flute and trapezo. And after the, our first reading through, playing it through, she said, oh, it is like to know since a very long time something, a picture in black and white, mm -hmm. and now they discover the same picture uh, with color. In color yeah. And this is again no better, yes. no worse. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful picture, yeah. uh, black and white, beautiful picture of color. Again, there is not to compare the mm. world. Yes. yes. And uh, to, to the organ means to be involved in this music, to be invented every day, every moment you are pushing one key. Mm. Yes, yes. And uh, what is your, how did you get into? Uh, Okay, before I ask that question, the uh, my introduction uh, to the clavichord was uh, when my very dear friend Cheslav Balasi, who was a pianist uh, for the project I was doing uh, uh, with, uh, we did it in Rai Tre, Stanza della Musica. Stanza della Musica. Uh, we were to do with the Museo delle Civiltà with the Professor, with Dr. Massimiliano Bolichetti in Roma, but then that was cancelled because of with the Indian Embassy we were doing, we, we planned. I worked three months and we used clavichord from 15, 10, uh, 15, 20, um, that model that, uh, that we brought, uh, which was played, a small keyboard, very portable uh, piece that was. So I was very uh, moved. Harpsichord or harpsichord? Harpsichord, sorry, harpsichord, the small one. Ah, yes, okay. the harpsichord. Different one. Yes, yes. And uh, um, but the idea of the pluck is the same. It, it's the same plucking of the string, uh, which was which was very moving for me. In the sense you could the the relationship with the instrument is very intimate. You can actually tune. Uh, uh, for example, so I the third note it's sharper so the idea that you could actually uh, tune with this key uh, tuner, uh, a, a string to uh, uh, like a piano. Piano is also not just a, unlike a harmonium, which is a uh, the the frets are or the uh, the keys are tuned once, but with the piano you can actually yeah. tune. It's like tuning a string. Yeah, uh, you know. Um, this one harmonium. Yes. Piano. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tuned one. Uh, yeah, once. One. Yeah, you can tune uh, once and then. One. This is a tuning hammer for yeah. harpsichord. So yeah. uh, it was on the harpsichord. We are tuning every time we should play. Yeah. Or if you take a look here, if I move this, the the pipe is longer, so lower. Oh, I see. Shorter. Oh, you can tune it. Lower. I see. Yeah. And it, of course. I see. Oh, I see. For example. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Or.
this a read, organ read, for example. I see. I see. So, uh, this word is very, very wide It's amazing. Word. So my, my question, therefore, is that out of all these possibilities, uh, what is in the uh, clavichord? Uh, I mean, I love the idea of the pluck, but for you who has tasted them all, uh, how do you define, I mean, what is it, how is it different than the hammer uh, on the string? It's like hammering the string like a piano does versus plucking uh, of the string. Uh, what is your uh, uh, experience out of the two? Yeah, the, 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 the different, uh, by saying on the surface, the different is given by the dynamic. Mm. Hammer can hit uh, soft or strong. Mm. So, uh, light, um, light or strong or soft or fortissimo, very loud. Mm. This is one hammering. But this is the outside view of the phenomena. The inside view of the phenomena is that the plucking of one string, sorry, I can in back soon, mm -hmm. uh, when this stringer plucks the string, the string is here on the break room. My The key is here, mm -hmm. And my finger is here, yeah, so yeah. like a chain, mm -hmm. my finger has is in, is touching yeah. the, the string. Yeah. <clears throat> in the hammering, it's a different action because if this is a string and this is one hammer, mm -hmm. after the hitting moment, the hammer should come back before, because if this, the hammer stays on the string, yeah. the string cannot vibrate. Yeah, yeah. It means uh, uh, to play the piano means to anticipate every idea and to uh, set all will come out before the action. Mm. So the piano is not a real time play. We are talking about milliseconds or fractions of milliseconds, but. Uh, the brain is set to to be in a, able to like a sound forecast. Mm -hmm. uh, heart record and organ are real time instruments. I Something see. happens why is happening. So mm -hmm. it's a so the feeling is different. Again, not worse, not yeah, better. Of course. Yeah. And only different setting. And mm -hmm. this is the reason for hybrids are very difficult to manage because it's more brain are more kind of managing put together but is even amazing right yeah. it's a challenge yeah. and uh, about the harmonium that you have uh, it'll be great to have you demonstrate a bit of the harmonium that you have i mean what was it played the dynamic of that uh, was quite mind boggling yes. and the one that you played was a japanese one with the original the first instrument the hybrid that you showed us that was a japanese harmonium is it no, 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 this is all or Euro European. The one, the small one which was made for the piano, the, the very this, first one that you played? This one, you see? Uh, yeah, the first one that you played when you were sitting. Yes, this one, yeah. Yeah, okay, this is French. The oh, band, this is French, I see. The, the band is the French builder, harmonium maker, uh, and he, he created it, uh, he, he built, uh, this, but it's a French instrument, this one, you mean. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. This yeah. is French. Yeah. I see. Uh, and, yes, it's, the dynamic is from nothing. I, now I'm pushing mm -hmm. one key, I'm holding one key, but no sounds comes out. Maybe something. Higher, no, this is a better lower. I, I'm watching the camera to, right, to show right. the best. And then, now I start to, to breathe. Right. Yeah, 
this is a uh, good harmonic plane. So, so right. the opposite way uh, than the organ. And again, the sense of hybrids is given in that. One piano controls the dynamic, but once you decide what to do in a, in a few milliseconds, in a one millisecond, huh, what to do is given. Nothing more to do. Piano is going more or less by itself, more or less because then there are other devices, but again, machines. Uh, harmonium is following the, we, the my wish, the, the performer wish, already beautiful. And the combining that is even more beautiful. And the, the shape of this instrument, you see this kind of angle, maybe you can see. The instrument was created by Mr. The Band in order to be combined with one piano. So the, the, the instrument I put now on my right, like Mozart did sometimes with one organ uh, on the right side of the piano. I did in the side because there's no place in front of me. But in the original functions, uh, the uh, battery is now uh, not anymore here. Right. Maybe I can hold the second telephone. I hope. I try. Francesco, può prendere giù quello se ce la fai in qualche modo? Sì. And I, all the audio we go on. <laughs> and I record the video at the moment. And um, I, uh, I was saying about the, uh, the the function of this harmonino. Harmonino is the name. Yes, I can see you. And Thank you, Bert. And Armonino, now I can show you here maybe. To wait for the connection. Uh, this shape, can you see now? Um, just a second. Yes, you have to tilt it. Okay. Yeah, okay. This shape is to be put underneath one piano. So to play the melody with the right hand while the piano, is the, the, the left hand is accompanying. Can you make it uh, landscape, yes, uh, uh, the camera? Can you make it landscape? Ah, yes, of course, sorry, yeah. sorry. No, no, uh, it's okay, yes, it's better. Yeah. Uh, yes, and now I show you again it. Maybe it's possible to see this shape. Uh, and the position will be exactly underneath this position in the I piano. I see, I see. Not for this piano, this is very, uh, but for uh, one, one piano I have for the uh, in the same era, I have uh, even one era art piano. It fits together with this harmonium. I see. Sorry, uh, yes, I, know. I saw We've... that I must go. Yes, uh, I know you have an appointment. <laughs> but we'll, uh, it is yeah, a great I, beginning, I, I... it's a great beginning of uh, this uh, discovery. I mean, it's a journey, extraordinary journey, and I thank you uh, for your, for taking time out. And I look forward to our uh, continuing the conversation and uh, going deeper into some of the composers who've done work uh, on the instruments, on the organs. And this is like a great introduction. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it's been a great masterclass uh, with you. Uh, about Thank the you very much. I hope uh, I was not too much boring. But uh, <laughs> no, actually, you. unfortunately, you. you were very boring. We were all sleeping and yawning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Bye bye. And uh, grazie Francesco. No. Uh, thank you no. also to no. Francesco. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, now it's without the head, uh, headphone, Francesco. Yeah, okay. 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 All right. Bye bye. And I'll talk to you soon and we'll, we'll meet bye -bye. soon. Yes. Bye bye. Hey, see you. Yeah. So, friends, that was my uh, conversation with uh, Professor Claudio Brizzi.
and uh, now uh, we go towards uh, um, listening to some of the music uh, that he has uh, shared, uh, I mean asked me to share with you. Um, I'll have to just open. Um, Una, you, uh, I mean, thank you all for joining today. Uh, Unam is writing, Love Senor Claudio breathes his patari of little known instruments and the way he passionately takes pleasure in all of them. Indeed, yeah, indeed, absolutely. And um, <clears throat> that's, that's indeed um, uh, what is happening. Okay, here we are. Um, let me prepare this video for you all. The very first one is the um, um, Cloud Ibrisi plays uh, Chacona in D by Johann Pachelbel uh, is the one where we s will start uh, our uh, next journey of listening to uh, some of the composers. Um, Yes, Ramanjit says this is such a treasure trove. Believe you me, this is excellent. This is just some, and uh, there are many instruments which he will never show uh, for uh, you know there are for their rarity, uh, they are protected. Uh, but he's um, uh, quite a well. He's not just a collector. He restores them. Uh, it, it's quite mind-boggling. Uh, I mean, to to meet uh, uh, a contemporary uh, whose whose work is quite parallel to my work. Uh, as well. Um, and then uh, Pandit Kalnath Mishra is also here. Thank you, Luca Grosso, I shared. And uh, oh, thank you, Ramajit, for sharing uh, Professor Claudia Britsi's YouTube channel. And she says, uh, This is unbelievable. Wow, so many variations of sounds in one instrument, isn't it? <laughs> Extraordinary. Uh, thank you for sharing, um, uh, of course, Professor Claudio. I'm sure he will. Oh, but he's not on Facebook, so. Don't expect an answer from him, so I I will convey this to him, um, and of course thank you for uh, much for organizing this extremely enlightening session with Rota. Oh, you're welcome. Gurpreet Sami is here after ages. Maybe she's been missing for at least one yoga. Upendra Arora, Tarinder Kaur, Shahid Mizra, Janab, Shahid Saab, Kia, Adhikari. Beautiful explanation of human voice and how instruments help overcome the limitation and, ex and express complex philosophical con concepts. Uh, Mr. Britsi has kept a child in him alive, isn't it? <laughs> and the excitement reflects in his speech and music. Thank you, Paisa, for creating the space for exploring process of music making of translating emotions into sounds. That's very kind of you, uh, right, by um, Luigi Vincenzo says, Grande Maestro Britsi, indeed. And uh, there was the Singh Lamba, Sujit Kumar Sagar, uh, no, he was, uh, as you would have known by now, he was kidding. Uh, how much time had I have? And he said, Oh, how much time you have? He has a lot of story to tell. And uh, um, uh, Hamid Sahi and then uh, Buta saying, Parvinder Kaur, uh, Just Bands, Mantu Saha, Chaman Abbas, Luna, Aryan Timan. That's very kind of you. Thank you for joining. So let's listen to uh, some of the music. We go to uh, Chakona and D uh, is what we will get to here first.
So that was fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely mind-boggling. And um, so we go to the uh, next one. Uh, and of course, you know, when you, uh, Unam, when you say, <laughs> I'm glad you said, <laughs> it's not a piano, it's an organ. Uh, it's clavi organ, as he uh, mentioned. Um, so we go to uh, the second one is a is a Galeria Harmonica, which he mentioned, uh, and he's, it's a composition. Uh, it's called Rondo from Sonata in C. Um, it's uh, uh, the uh, clavichord. I think KV five four five by Mozart is the next piece that we uh, will now listen. Uh, here we go. That was <laughs> absolutely fantastic too. <laughs> what a what an instrument actually! Fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant too. Um, uh, that one. Um, uh, the next one we listen to is uh, W. A. Mozart Adagio Rondo K six one seven by Claudio Brizzi and uh, Carlo Palese. It's about 10 minutes and 39 seconds. It's quite a, it's two instruments. Uh, you will see what I'm talking about.
That was quite something, isn't it? <laughs> it's unbelievable the kind of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in our system also, if we look at it, it is, um, um, you know, from the Rabab, let's say, uh, from the, in the, in the Gurbani Sangeet Parampara, there was uh, uh, the, the Hindustani Rabab, it's called, the Dhrupadi Rabab, it's called, was simply the Rabab, or it was actually the Rudra Bean. Uh, nowadays, they uh, uh, they somehow related this name to the uh, Veena uh, or the Kinnari Veena origin and then the larger Veena with the gourds uh, that has been now uh, mistakenly or I don't know whatever dotingly called as Rudra Bean. The original Rudra Bean was the what is the Hindustani Rabha. Um, uh, it had two names. and. It had a particular spectrum. There were four strings, which are four, 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 four Foladi metal strings. And Sadiq Ali Khan, in his book Kanun Mosiki, written in 1874, writes that Guru invented, uh, modified rather, the instrument, uh, uh, you know, which had four metal strings. He added the, he, I think, fifth or six strings is what he, his Rabab had, and that they were of silk. Uh, my estimation is that silk, because it doesn't, uh, um, uh, you know, contract or expand like skin or gut strings do uh, for longevity and for the way he was traveling, uh, they were somehow weatherproof. Uh, they were, they were um, uh, the reason why you add strings, you're adding an octave. Then the saranda came. Uh, at the time of Guru Amar Das and Sadiq Ali Khan says that Vajay ho ki ye saaj ijad kiya hua Guru Amar Das ka hai jinka mandar sthaan Amritsar shahri mein mashur hai. So in the old times and he's writing in the 19th century, uh, in the second, in the third quarter of the 19th century, uh, you didn't, you couldn't go to Goindwal straight. You went to Amritsar and then from there you found a way to go, uh, you know, a few miles to Goindwal. Um, and he mentions about a particular saranda which was invented by Guru Amar Das. Now it again brought from the plucked uh, instrument, uh, the, the, the Rudra Bean or the Rabab, uh, to the bowed instrument. And then Guru Hargobind uh, invented the Rabab, uh, the, the Taus, I uh, beg your pardon. Uh, when Takhte Taus was created, uh, when the Mughal Takht was created, he, uh, you know, he enacted the Akal Takht as many inches taller than the decree of the Mughal Emperor that every other takhat in, the, in South Asia must be or in the, uh, within the domain of Mughal Empire should be as many inches lower uh, uh, you know, than the Mughal takht. Guru Hargobind uh, you know, uh, ideated a takhat which is the Akal takhat, that is Mughal takhat, this is where tyranny and uh, oppression etc. This is the Akal takht, the, the takht of the timeless. Then the then his jewelers uh, saw a lot of lepis and all that, so they invented, they ideated the formation of the or the creation of the takht taus peacock uh, throne, and it, it, uh, when the news spread across the country that so and so date uh, the Mughal emperor uh, will sit on the Mughal takht and with the uh, takht taus Guru Hargobind smiled and said, well there will be another taus which will instead of uh, someone, an emperor getting, uh, sit, getting to sit on a peacock throne and being praised and being, uh, you know, sort of pampered uh, in the Akal Takh, there would be another Taus, but it will sing the praises of Allah Mia directly, not of any one who was born, uh, you know. Uh, so uh, the whole idea, but it's the largest bow instrument, bow and string instrument it brought a different tonality. So instruments, it's amazing for me to see the range that has been somehow included or that's been made possible in one instrument or as uh, Professor Claudio Brizzi said, it's a machine, organ in Greek, it, it means a machine. It is that a man, it's a man-made machine. That's, I think it's extraordinary. Um, the next one that uh, he, uh, 
uh, the fourth in line uh, is, a, is a nine minute recording of uh, uh, in which Claudio Brizzi is playing uh, uh, Voluntari Otto Opus Cinque in D minor by John Stanley uh, who lived uh, between 1712 and 1786 80 that is the 18th century uh, uh, from the middle of the first quarter uh, to the middle of the fourth quarter uh, let's let's enjoy uh, this piece
was quite stunning. Um, the next piece <clears throat> that we uh, have is uh, um, Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, Choral Prelude Schmuck Dish or Dyke, I don't know how they pronounce, I don't speak German. Olive Seal BM BWV 654, uh, organ played by uh, none other than or the only, one and only Claudio Brizzi. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at that. I love the videos, by the way. Uh, he is quite a technology uh, fellow. He's an inventor. He's a uh, he repairs them, he restores them himself. <laughs> quite a quite a scholar. Here we go. to tell you all that uh, the, the uh, instrument that was uh, that has been created from the uh, instruction manual uh, written in the 1700s this is that instrument it's like a huge skyscraper <laughs> it's it's a it's in a church 80, 80 kilometers from Rome it is that instrument uh, let's let's have a uh, it's quite it's just uh, overwhelming actually.
wow, <laughs> that is, um, uh, you know, quite, uh, quite, a, quite an instrument. The church, the kiesa, uh, the uh, the one that he was mentioning, where uh, uh, the instrument uh, has been built. Uh, there are a couple of uh, uh, videos. Uh, you're welcome to leave messages for him. I've been texting with him uh, uh, that he would be very glad, although he's not on the social media anywhere. Um, uh, he would be very glad to be, uh, you know, uh, he, he requested that uh, I share uh, your comments and uh, your questions if you have any uh, with him. And then uh, I would, of course, um, share the responses uh, uh, quoting him uh, whenever he sends them back. So you're welcome to do that. Um, the next one, uh, uh, which is a very, sh there are two short videos about uh, very, very important ones. Uh, they are, um, how we say, um, uh, they take us uh, close uh, to do the work that he's doing and the instruments that he has. Um, the first one is called Inizio in Computo. Is that right? Am I reading it? Yeah, in, in Computer. Inizio in Computer. There we go. Isn't it quite, quite stunning the way uh, it began with a very gentle, what we call the Niradharna, very subtle, very pulita, uh, very soft, and the way uh, the dirgha uh, is employed, the element is employed. And the last one uh, that we have to play is called Ridotto. Molto bello, bravo Claudio. 
So I hope uh, that you've uh, enjoyed this conversation with uh, Professor Claudio Brizzi. Uh, thank you for your attention and your time. And I know that many, uh, it was an odd time. Usually we do the vetics in the evening. It was that there was a time he was available. Um, many of our friends, uh, including by Sarji Singh Ladi and others, I sent the uh, information to him as well. But of course, in California, uh, they would still be, uh, I think they would just about be getting up now. Uh, I'm sure many of you uh, will, will get to see uh, in the hours ahead. And I look forward to reading your comments and your queries, and I'll be glad to pass them on to Mr. Claudio Gritzi. Thank you again, and as Narendra Paul says, amazing sounds, very mystic, very soothing. And uh, uh, Poonamayu has also written, one lives and learns from, uh, from through, uh, through your path-breaking sessions with masters around the globe, clavichord, harpsichord, and now clavioorgan, of course. First known in its invention and its use as an instrument apparently in the 15th century, yes. I'm glad. Uh, and uh, Ramajit says, also beautifully shot and edited. Yes, indeed, I love the videos. Uh, Carmen Pellegrino says, Sbalorditivo, come sempre. <laughs> yes. The uh, uh, Namaskar, a very good evening to all of you. Varjika Khalsa, Varjika Fateh, Satyabhar. And I'll see you on Friday day after tomorrow that is.